Officials say each day it's getting harder and harder to pinpoint who might be infected with COVID-19 in Iowa as they're facing challenges with contact tracing. Contact tracing is the process of calling a COVID-19 positive patient and asking who else they may have been infected and been around before they got their test results. That's anyone who they were within six feet of for 15 minutes or more. Then they get the information of those people and call to encourage them to be tested and self-isolate. Local 5's Eva Anderson spoke with several county health departments and a contact tracer about the challenges they are now facing as some counties are seeing cases surge. If you test positive for COVID-19, you'll get a phone call from a contact tracer who tries to figure out who else may have been infected. And as time goes on, they say the web of people they're trying to reach is exponentially increasing. So now I've been a massage therapist for three years and have my own business. <laughs> shut down. Oh. Jenny is out of a job due to the pandemic, but the pandemic's the reason there's a bigger need for the job she just trained for. Because I'm on unemployment, they had free courses through Coursera. She's now joining a slew of others becoming a certified contact tracer. They're the people who make calls to positive COVID patients, taking notes on a form like this and asking who else they may have infected. Or if they were like, got together with a small group of people and it's easy to get a hold of those people. Then tracers reach out to those people and let them know you've been around a COVID positive person, but because of HIPAA, they can't say who. A lot of the training is teaching you verbiage to not freak people out because most people's general reaction is kind of panic. Difficult conversations at times. They include some basic questions. Where have you been recently? Who have you been around? Heather Metter with Lynn County Public Health says as the state opens up, it's getting harder to pinpoint every potentially infected person. How do you deal with situations where somebody might have been at a large protest or a crowded bar? So that's what we want to remind the, the public about in all Iowans is that we have community spread here in Iowa. So community spread means that you've gotten it from somebody and you don't know who that person is. We won't be able to reach out to individuals that you don't know. Over in Plymouth County, they now have the highest positivity rate in Iowa. The public health admin says recently people don't want to tell them everyone they've been around, saying, quote, with school sports starting back up, we've been getting a lot more resistance from people who don't want family members or children excluded. But health officials say it's about protecting others. That person may be the one that ends up in the hospital or that person might be the one that ends up dying. Urging everyone to keep taking measures to keep their community safe. Polk County cases are handled by State Department of Public Health contact tracers. In Lynn County, they have about 15 contact tracers, where in Plymouth, they only have three. Reporting in Des Moines, Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And here's an example of contract tracing at work. A South Harden grad found out they were exposed to the coronavirus through contract contact tracing. That grad tested positive for the virus and attended the Saturday ceremony with dozens of others. The district says the graduate wasn't showing any symptoms. People who went to the graduation, though, are being told to monitor their symptoms.